Hi folks, my name is Ted Pavlik. I'm a faculty in the School of Sustainability, and I would like to tell you about a course that I really love to teach, SOS 212, Systems, Dynamics, and Sustainability. I teach this course in the spring, but there are other faculty here in the School of Sustainability that teach it other semesters, and you can also find it online. So even if you're not uh, thinking about taking it in the spring, I encourage you to check it out. This is a course that's great for someone who is interested in using computer simulation models to better understand ecological and social systems. This is a course that is a required course for our Bachelors of Science and Sustainability students, but it also is open to um, other majors. If you have taken a college level calculus class, we can waive that prereq of SOS 211 for you to get in here. And if you are a conservation biology and ecology uh, major, then this actually counts as a quantitative and spatial analysis course. If you're interested in seeing how it was run, I've actually got all of the spring 2020 experience captured um, on this course blog, and you can access via this QR code over here. Um, I ended up making use of ASU Sync mid-semester during that, and I really enjoyed it and thought it worked out well. So moving forward, when we have access to ASU Sync, I plan on making use of it. So those of you who would like to participate remotely, um, with this course, you'll be able to do that just so long as you have access to the software. And all the software is freely available and exists on multiple platforms. So what do we do in this course? Well, we build dynamical computational models of ecological systems in simulation. And so these are models like how cities rise and fall. These are models like how epidemics spread. These are models like how populations change over time as you introduce predators, as you change um, conditions that were regard to prey. Um, these types of models we build in major tools that you also find in the business community, in the engineering community, like VinSim and InsightMaker. So you'll learn to use tools like that. You see like VinSim right here. And in this case, you see us uh, building a model of a SIR model, which now that we've been through COVID-19, you're familiar with these types of models from epidemiology and R0, for example, and RT, these terms you hear in the news. Well, you'll learn exactly where these terms come from. So when you talk about flattening the curve, well, you actually get to see the model that generated that curve that they're talking about flattening. So you'll be able to build these models and simulate these models and adjust the parameters so that you can see these things like exactly what do we mean by flattening the curve and uh, what happens when the curve isn't flat, what happens when the curve does flatten, what parameters can we change to generate the flatness, et cetera, et cetera. Like I said, we also use other tools like InsightMaker to do the same types of simulations. Here I'm showing a simulation of a population system. Um, you will end up choosing your own system that you will get to simulate as part of your final project, which uh, could be a system that is not related to traditional ecology. Again, it could be um, related to how energy is maintained or acquired um, in a city, for example, uh, or something else. You can be creative and you'll be able to use these tools to investigate that idea. So that is the basic summary of SOS 212, Systems Dynamics and Sustainability. It is open to all. Uh, if you've taken a college level calculus course, we can waive that SOS 211 prereq. If you are a con bio major, then uh, it'll count as a quantitative and spatial analysis course. Um, if you're interested in checking out more, then uh, look at this QR code and the uh, course blog down here to see what the lectures look like in spring of 2020. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I look forward to seeing you in the future.